in the hallway through this door. And then we have a nice little kitchen, mind the mess. We're moving out. This is bedroom A. We've got a fridge, full-size fridge. Um, nice little stove, plenty of cabinet space, microwave, dishwasher, this little living room area with a TV. We have washer and dryer in unit. So you see washer and dryer. Nice little end table there. We got some stools for the bar. Um, nice TV. Got a table. Um, nice little wraparound couch here. So yeah, um, I'm going kind of quick because, you know, roommates in A are moving out and they have a bit of a mess. So I don't want to capture that. But here's my clean side B. So as we walk in, we walk through the bathroom, which I'm not a big fan of, but it is what it is. And we can lock the door. You have to kind of tap your um, key card and then turn it to use the deadbolt and then tap it and then turn it to unlock it again. It takes some getting used to. Um, but we have plenty of cabinet space under here. Two sinks, so one for each of us. Um, there's me, mirror on this side, mirror in the middle, a big mirror. Got a mirror on that side, over here. Should be a little toilet room. You got the toilet, you got the shower, um, and then you have a nice little cabinet to keep the medicine stuff. I like the, um, these big faucet heads on the shower, it's nice. Um, a little sad, it doesn't have the sliding door, it's just a curtain, but I'm happy it comes with a curtain, so that's good. Um, this door locks, just a little push, that's nice. Nice with that. And then here's the actual bedroom. Here's bedroom B. Again, labeled nice and clearly. Um, light switches, I assume. Okay. This is the fan. Got a nice little ceiling fan. I heard from people that it's quiet. I will let you know. Sounds very quiet. Um, oh, and the light switch is right here, I believe. So that's the overhead light. But these actually do... Oh, okay. So these turn on... These switches actually turn on the lamp. See? And then this one is my side, which is by the window over there. So don't mind my roommate. But each side, also don't mind my mess, I literally just moved in. Um, comes with a nice little dresser here, you can put all your clothes. And let's open up one of these, see how big it is. It's a pretty decent size. You um, at home can judge for yourself if this is what you need. Um, you have a nice little trunk down here. Now I think you do have to buy a lock separately. Um, but you don't need a lock. So it, you just swivel it up, put like a master lock through there. And of course you just pull it open. And it looks to be slightly bigger. Let me see if I can give you a better view. It looks slightly bigger than in the dresser drawer. Definitely deeper. Um, you probably lock up some more clothes, maybe your winter clothes. And this, um, little chest here does move so that it's nice so if you want to slide it out from under the bed you could um there's a nice little divider wall so you don't have to look at the other person while they're sleeping which is nice and you can put stuff on here i've seen people put things i would definitely show the finished one once i get set up by the end of the week um i bought like gorilla strips or something little putty to put pictures and stuff you see it's on both sides. Um, this nice little table here um, does have wheels. So there's a nice little nightstand. So what I was planning to do is I brought my computer. You can see my monitor up there. Link in the description if you would like to buy one of your own. Um, clicking on my Amazon links in the description, I will receive a small commission, um, but at no additional charge for you. And that will just help me um, make these videos a little bit better. 
So I'd appreciate if you did um, do that, but again, no need. So the idea is to put my computer down there and get like a cheap chair or something at Walmart so I can sit here. Obviously I'll probably move this and then have my little desk here for editing videos and um, handling emails and the like. And you see they are numbered, so that's two. I am B2, so bedroom B, bed two. And these beds are honestly a little bit better than what I encountered, um, or excuse me, encountered in um, at my university, but maybe a mattress cover wouldn't be such a bad idea, like a mattress pad. I didn't bring mine, I had limited space, but these are pretty, uh, pretty not bad. Especially since I've been sitting on an air mattress, or sleeping on an air mattress. Got my nice little computer, I have to take the bubble wrap out of. You see over here I have a nice little pool view. Nice little hot tub. You can see all the... See all the pool goers. And try to like step over my stuff here. Just your standard blinds, by the way. Just standard. Uh, if I turn my head at a really bad angle, I can watch movies. Oh, uh, looks like uh, Encanto they were playing just ended. But, um, yeah, it's just a walk, like a minute walk. They have this little table down there, and I did see they had hammocks, and they had, um, grills. So, maybe I'll grill out. Y'all help me, uh, build up my channel here. Maybe I can, uh, buy some steaks or hot dogs or something. We can have a little grill out here as a YouTube community. That'd be a cool live stream, wouldn't it? Grilling at Flamingo Crossing. The closet space here, let me um, back up a little bit. Um... It's pretty big. So there's a sliding door that's a mirror and it goes all the way. That's the lamp I was telling you about. You can hit the switch as you're leaving or you can just switch it. And then you have these nice little USB for the wall. So if you want to move your um, little nightstand and you want to put like uh, your phone on there to charge. I'm not sure where the outlets are. Cause I'm going to need to plug my computer in. I see one against like the window over here and I would love to have my desk near the window. I might end up doing that, like bringing my next down this corner. I kinda wanna make sure my roommates are cool with that, but we'll see what we do because I don't think I see any in that corner and that corner is definitely too small and I'll know if I can move the bed. No, no, you can. Okay, so you can shift the bed and I have heard some people turning their bed like that way so this divider wall is more like a like a footboard but that would make it a lot more difficult to get in your closet but if you climb over your bed to get in your closet it might not be an issue as demonstrated there but it's basically the room and again i'll go in the closet a little bit more you see, there's plenty of room. Uh, there does not seem to be a light inside of the closet, though. So if I trap myself in here, you will notice it's not completely dark. But there's enough room for me to walk around. See? So this is the wall, and... Overall, I'd say it's maybe five feet. And then you can always put stuff under the bed too. You have a lot of room under the bed. I could crawl under there. Plenty of room. I'd say there's like a foot and a half of room. Let's see if I zoom out a little bit. But yeah, it's uh, pretty much the room. So my onboarding is at 2.40 and it's currently about 1 o'clock. So I am going to um, just kind of get my stuff put away a little bit here. Um, honestly, it'll probably take me a few days, but I'll get everything all hooked up and set up and 
I'll find out what I forgot to bring, which, you know, is probably something. 